Okay, here's uh, an example or question involving functions of two variables. And in particular, we're asked about limits of these functions. Now, limits in higher dimensions is tricky because, you know, you do a first course in calculus, right? And you learn, oh, you've got a left-hand limit and a right-hand limit, and the limit exists if, if and only if both of those two limits are equal to each other, right? In higher dimensions, it's tricky because you think about, say, a point, right? So here's, a, here's the x-y uh, plane. How many different directions can I approach that point from? Well, I can approach it from this direction, from this direction, from this direction, from ooh, this direction. So there's an infinite number of ways to approach a point in two dimensions. That's what makes limits of functions of two variables hard. Because it's not just a left-hand limit and a right-hand limit. You've got an infinite number of ways to approach a point and see, what the fun or see where the function's heading. Okay, so with these kinds of problems, it's, mu it's much easier to show that a limit doesn't exist than to show that it does exist. Because pretty much for these kind of problems, all you've got to do is show that there's one path or one curve going towards the point of question where the function's limit doesn't match another curve or another path leading to that point. That's the secret. Okay? So a limit exists for these functions of two variables if and only if the limit is the same along all paths to that point. Okay? So if you can find one path or two paths where the two limits are not the same, it means the limit doesn't exist. Okay? So let me show you how, how, we, uh, how we can work this out. We're asked to show that there is no way to define the value of f at 0 to make the following functions continuous at 0. So you can see these two definitions of, of f, so we're going to treat them separately, of course. This, isn't, th this function isn't defined at 0, 0. And what it's asking us to do is show that you can't actually just, just give f a value at 0, 0 to make it continuous. So how do we do it? Let's go with 1 and 2. All right. So we're going to use an idea called the two-path test. If you can find two paths where the limits are not equal to each other, then the limit can't exist, and therefore it can't be continuous at the point. All right. So let's approach, oops, approach 0, 0 along the curve. I'm just going to approach it along straight lines. Okay? Why, so alpha here is any constant you any non-zero, well, any constant you like. Okay? So so you know if alpha is two, you'd you'd be approaching along the line two y equals two x. If alpha is negative one, you'd be approaching the the um, origin along say y equals negative x, okay? So you're sort of approaching along these sort of lines here. All right? Okay. So let's consider f along the line y equals alpha x. So basically I've just replaced y with alpha x. All right. So what I'm going to do is go up here and replace y with, you guessed it, alpha x. OK, so now I can um, uh, simplify. Because I'm not at uh, 0, 0, And if I stay away from x equals 0, I can always cancel off those x squareds. So if I cancel off those x squareds, what am I going to be left with? Alpha on 1 plus alpha squared. 
Okay, now it might not seem obvious to you, but we've reached a very important point in the, in the solution method now. What we have realised is that if I approach, say, 0 along the line y equals x, alpha equals 1, this will be a half. If I approach um, the origin along, say, y equals negative x, where alpha equals negative 1, I'm going to get negative a half here. So along those two curves, I've got a limit, or those two lines, one limit's going to be a half, the other limit's going to be negative a half. So there's no way that the limit can exist. Okay? So having an alpha there shows you that the, the, the behaviour of the function depends on the path that you're, that you're approaching zero. That's the important thing. Okay? So this is, say, g of alpha. Hence, f depends on the path along which we approach zero. Uh, zero, zero. Hence, limit. cannot exist and the, 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 the test that I call it is the two path test alright therefore no value no value of ff0 zero, 0 will make f continuous at the origin. All right? So there's a couple of interesting and important uh, take-home messages for that one. Firstly, for a limit to exist, it's got to be independent of the path and it's got to be always equal along every path towards the point that you're approaching. If you can find two paths where the limits differ, then the limit cannot exist. If the limit cannot, doesn't exist, it can't be continuous. You can't make it continuous. All right? Now, even if we got down here with this problem and there were no alphas, would that mean the limit exists? Perhaps right. Can you say a little more? OK, it might exist, not necessarily. You have to consider every path, so not just straight lines. What about parabolas? What about, I don't know, squiggly wiggly functions? You're not going to be able to do them all. Okay, so that's why I said before, it's far easier to show that a limit doesn't exist for these kinds of uh, problems than a limit does exist. And part two is a classic example of this one. Okay, let me see if I can uh, do part two for you now. All right, in part two, you're asked to show again that there's no value. You can't just make up a value of f of zero, at zero, zero to make the, the function in part two continuous. Okay? Now, similar to part one, you could try this, but it's actually not going to help you very much okay? um, in the sense that you'll probably get down to here and the alphas will cancel out. But that doesn't tell you that the limit exists. It might, it might not. So what we're looking for here, and, and the, the question leads us in this way, is to look for curves where the limit along two of those curves are not the same, or not equal. All right? So in this case, we're going to approach 0, 0 along parabolas. Okay. Now, um, I've got to say, for, from a sort of testing point of view, you wouldn't get asked more than like parabolas, I reckon. I think you'd, have, you'd be justifiably upset if, you, if they're asking you to come to approach the origin along really like crazy curves. All right, so let's test this. And it's just a little bit of algebra, so we're going to do pretty much the same uh, with what we did in the previous, just replacing uh, y with 
alpha x squared. Okay, so you can see now we're going to get a power of 4 on the top and the bottom, and that will cancel out. Okay. All right, so as long as uh, x is not 0, then we're going to get something like this. Again, this is something that depends on alpha. So since alpha remains, or a function of alpha, the limit is not independent of curves uh, that we approach the origin along and you'd say hence by the two path test Uh, the limit cannot exist, and therefore we cannot make f continuous at the origin.